Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series, my 2024-25 college basketball predictions. This is part two, and this will be the American Conference, the Atlantic 10, the Mountain West, and the WCC. Um, we'll start with the American Conference in first place in this conference. I have with the, um, the uh, I almost said with the record, um, can't predict records in college basketball. That's a little difficult. Uh, the Memphis Tigers. Um, Memphis is a good team. Um, they have a coach in Penny Hardaway that some uh, don't think is the best, but I think he's done a decent job in his tenure. They have a lot of talents. P.J. Haggerty, Tyrese Hunter, Colby Rogers. Um, coming in second, I have the UAB Blazers. Um Preseason player of the year, Lack Yaxel Lundeberg, um leads the way there. And I also have uh Buddha Johnson, Alejandro Vasquez. Um coming in third, I have FAU. Um FAU I think will be better than expected this season. Um Kai Kai Tandy's a good grad um guard player for them. Coming in fourth, I have Wichita State. Um, Wichita State's interesting. Um, they have not been really relevant since they moved to the American. We'll see if this is where it finally changes. Coming in fifth is South Florida. What a shame um, for South Florida. Um, their coach passed away, Amir Abdur Rahim. Right? Before the season. So that was like a week and a half before the season started. He passed away during a medical procedure. Which is really, really sad. And he was the the AAC coach of the year. And very sad. So I think there's going to be like a little, you know, like. I know they're going to honor him, but it's kind of like we talked about this with with the Columbus Blue Jackets and Con- Johnny Gaudreau passed away. Um, like, it's hard to get over that. And that's a, and like, and it's just a hard situation for them. Uh, Jaden Reed's a good player, though. Um, they won't be awful, but I don't think they're going to be a top three team in that league. Um, coming in sixth, I have Temple. I think Temple's going to be better. They have a really good player, Jamal Mashburn Jr. Seventh, I have North Texas. Um, I don't think they're anything special. Nothing right holding them up there. Eighth, I have East Carolina. I think East Carolina is going to be pretty good. I like R.J. Felton. Um, ninth, I have Charlotte. Tenth, Tulsa. I don't think either of those teams are going to be a factor. Um UTSA have eleventh, twelfth to lane, thirteenth race. Um, I don't think any of those teams are gonna surprise at all. Um, player of the year, I'm gonna go with Tyrese Hunter of Memphis. Um, best player on the best team. Freshman of the year, I'm going with Jared Harris of Memphis. Memphis has a loaded team. And coach of the year, I'm gonna go with John Jacobs of Florida Atlantic. I think Florida Atlantic's gonna be the team that exceeds expectations. In that league. Um, the Atlantic 10. That's a big league. Um, Alright. So. In first place in the league. I have. St. Louis. Um, I know this is a longer shot. To win the conference. I just think this team. Is absolutely. Loaded. And I mean loaded. Robbie Avila, Gibson, Jimerson, Isaiah Swope. Um, just a team that I think is going to be really good. They have a really good coach in Josh Schertz. Um. Coming in second, I VCU. That's the preseason pick. Um, Max Schulga, Joe Bamlisi, Zeb Jackson, 
Coming in third, I have St. Joe's. St. Joe's, I feel like, disappoints every year. Um, They have Xavier Brown, Rashir Fleming. Fourth place, I have Dayton. I think Dayton's going to be pretty good. Um, They're not going to be second place in the league, I don't think, but I think they're going to be pretty good. Nante Santos, Pooch Alexander, Inoch Cheeks, and um, Nate Santos, obviously, so... That's a, a pretty good team as well. Um, coming in fifth, I have Loyola Chicago. Loyola Chicago is always a interesting team. Miles Rubin and Des Watson are guys to watch there. Sixth, I have George Mason. Um, that's not a bad team. Darius Maddox is a good senior guard. Coming in seventh, I have Richmond. Richmond won an NCAA tournament game a couple years ago. Um, Decane, I have an 8th, ninth, UMass. Um, Rashul Dakin's a good player on UMass, by the way. Um, 10th, I have George Washington. I think they're going to be a little bit better than what people think. Darian Bachana Jr., good player. Um, 11th, Rhode Island. Jaden House is a good player. Um, 12th, I have Davidson. They're not going to be as good as they usually are. 13th, St. Bonaventure. Sorry, Woj. Um, I just don't think that team's going to be good. 14th, Fordham. And 15th, LaSalle. All right. Player of the year. I'm going with Robbie Avila of St. Louis. Coach of the year. I'm going to go with Josh Schertz of St. Louis. And the freshman of the year, I'm going to go with the big man on uh, St. Joe's, Steve Solano. Just throwing a dart at the freshman of the year there um, in that conference. All right, the Mountain West. Coming in first place, I have the Boise State Broncos. Um. They are absolutely loaded. They are the team to beat. Tyson Dejenhart, Omar Stanley, Alvaro Cardenas. Super duper loaded. Coming in second, I have New Mexico. Um, that's a solid team. With um, Nelly Jr. Joseph and Donovan Dent. Third, I have San Diego State. Reese Wooders. Is a good player there. Fourth, Nevada. They'll be led by Nick Davidson. Fifth, UNLV. Um, Dean and Thomas Jr. is a good player on that team. Sixth, Utah State. They're led by Ian Martinez. Um, coming in seventh, I have Colorado State. They're led by Nick Clifford. Eighth, San Jose State. Um, ninth, Fresno State. Tenth, Wyoming. Eleventh, Air Force. Neither of those teams. I think that's a clear bottom four in that league, in my opinion. Um, player of the year, I'm going to go with Tyson Degenhart of Boise. He's the best guy on the best team. So, by um, nature, you got to give it to... Um, uh, Degen Hart. Um, coach here going like Leon Rice, Boise State. Leon Rice has done a great job with that program. Although Richard Patino in New Mexico is a somewhat honorable mention for me as well. Um, freshman of the year, Farrell Compton, San Diego State. Um, Alrighty, now we're going to do the West Coast Conference. Alright, coming in first place, the Gonzaga Bulldogs. I mean, who else would it be? Um, they're still loaded. Ryan Nembhard, Graham Mike, Nolan Hickman, Michael Ajayi. 
Coming in second, I have St. Mary's. Um, Augustus, Mercilinus, and Mitchell Saxon. And I think that uh, Randy Bennett's a better coach than giving credit for. Coming in third, I have Santa Clara. They have a decent team led by Carlos Stewart and Adama Alpha Ball. Fourth, I have the Washington State Cougars. Welcome to the WCC for basketball, Washington State. Cedric Coward leads the way there. Um, coming in fifth, I have San Francisco. That's another decent team led by Marcus Williams. This league's not bad. Sixth, Loyola Merriman. Uh, Jevin Porter's a good player. Seventh, Oregon State. Uh, maybe they're a little better than that. Eighth, I have Portland. Ninth, San Diego. Tenth, Pacific. And 11th, Pepperdine. So um, I think the bottom four in that league will probably be the bottom four in some order. All right, the player of the year in the WCC, I'm going with Ryan Nemhart of Gonzaga, best guy on the best team. So that makes sense. Coach of the year, I'm going to go with Randy Bennett of St. Mary's. I love Randy Bennett. He does a great job every year there. In the freshman year, I'm going with Liam Campbell at St. Mary's. Okay, so... Um... Next up is part three. It's going to be the Sun Belt, the Mid-American Conference USA, and the Missouri Valley Conferences. So stay tuned for that.